Technology and Livelihood Education 8, Agriculture and Fishery Arts, AFA, Quarter 2. Our topic today is about aquaculture and fisheries. Content Standards The learners demonstrate an understanding of the concepts and skills in fisheries. Performance Standards The learners perform the skills in fisheries following safety precautions. Learning Competency Discuss the background of aquaculture and its relation to fisheries. Learning Objectives At the end of this lesson, the learners should be able to Explain the background of aquaculture and its relation to fisheries. Differentiate the types of aquaculture systems, pond, cage, pen, raceway, and recirculating system, based on their characteristics. Appreciate the role of aquaculture in sustaining food supply and protecting aquatic resources for future generations. Short Review Guess the ICT tool. Look at the picture and solve the jumbled letters. Social media. Content management systems. Search engine optimization. Customer relationship management system. Marketing automation. Four picks one word. Look at the four pictures carefully, find what they have in common, and guess the word. Kinds of fish. Bodies of water. Fishermen. Fishing tools. Fish cage. Unlocking content area vocabulary. Aquaculture refers to breeding, raising, and harvesting fish, shellfish, and aquatic plants. Wharf is a platform built out from the shore into the water and supported by piles. Fecundation is making fertile as by applying fertilizer or manure. Hatchery is a place where the hatching of fish or poultry eggs is artificially controlled for commercial purposes. Brackish water occurs when the fresh water from a river or lake meets the salty seawater of an ocean body. Brief background of aquaculture. Aquaculture and fisheries. It is said that in the early days, nobody bothered about the culturing of fish for the people believed that the sea can forever yield them adequate supply of fish. The increase of population and the use of illegal fishing, however, did have adverse effect in the natural productivity of the seas and other bodies of water making the fish scarce. This prompted the people to culture fish. Fish culture was believed to have started in China. Historical records reveal that net making and methods were developed in 2953 BC under the regime of Fuhai. The Roman considered fish as among the most highly priced delicacies during the 1st century AD fish farming was well attended during this period but it did not contribute much to the scientific progress of aquaculture because the people were more interested in food rather than in the progress of the industry. The first real inventor of practical fecundation by artificial means was Jacob of Westphalia. 
In England, Leonard Maskell who published, Book of Fishing, in 1590 is said to be the pioneer of fish culture. In the United States, early interest in fish ponds was recorded in the diary of Squire Carroll on August 27, 1792. The goldfish is the first species of fish reared in the United States. In Indonesia, the origin of fish ponds is not known. Some authors say it might be of Chinese origin, while others say it is of Malay origin. Records of fish ponds in government archives date back from 1821. The most original form of fish farming practices in Japan is in seaweeds and pearl culture. Mikamoda is the pioneer in the culture of pearl oysters, thus he is known as the king of pearl oyster culture. Fish culture in the Philippines. In the Philippines, there is no record as to when the cultivation of fish in ponds started. The first fish ponds must have been introduced by the Malay emigrants long before the Chinese traders came to the Philippines. Navotas and Malabon are the two principal towns which may be considered as pioneers in the fish pond industry in the Philippines. Dr. Pio Valencia is the pioneer of fish culture in the Visayas, while Talava pioneered oyster culture in our country. Scientific fish farming in our country may be said to have started with the experiments on milkfish culture in 1940. In the 60s, improved milkfish culture was applied. To further support the industry, national and international research institutions were established in the early 70s. Among the leading aquaculture research centers today are the Southeast Asian Fisheries Development Center's Aquaculture Department in Tigbuan, Iloilo. The International Center for Living Aquatic Resources Management in Makati. The Central Luzon State University's Freshwater Aquaculture Center in Nueva Ecija. The Brackish Water Aquaculture Center of the University of the Philippines. Our government has established model fish farms throughout the country to extend technical assistance to fish culturists. Some operate as fish hatcheries and nurseries and distribute fingerlings to fish farmer. Fishes cultured in fresh waters are tilapia, carp, catfish, mudfish, and gourami. Milkfish and prawns are the most important species cultured in brackish water ponds. The culture of marine species is still in the experimental stage. Only a few species have far been reared in ponds and pens. Types of aquaculture systems 1. Pond culture common method of fish culture. Water is maintained in an enclosed area by artificial construction of dike, bund. 2. Cage culture rearing of fish from juvenile stage to commercial size in a volume of water enclosed on all sides. 3. Pen culture raising of fish in a volume of water enclosed on all sides except bottom. This system can be considered a hybrid between pond culture and cage culture. Raceway culture raising of fish in running water. Raceways are designed to provide a flow-through system to enable rearing of much denser population of fishes. Recirculating aquaculture system An aquaculture system that incorporates the treatment and reuse of water with less than 10% of total water volume replaced per day.